What's up guys, this is Marcus from Studio One Expert and today I wanted to have a look at a really, really handy feature in Studio One that I use all the time, which is locate mouse cursor. So whenever we're selecting a playback point for our cursor here, we've got a couple different options in Studio One. And I'm guessing the one that we're using most of all is to be using the top over here and just choosing the point where we wanna play from. So I just select that area and press play. So now we've got another option as well. If I open up the uh, preferences here, you'll notice that I think it's in uh, maybe advanced editing. Uh, we have locate when clicked in empty space. So when you have that parameter enabled, if I have some empty space here in Studio One, I can actually click anywhere within that space and that's going to uh, put my cursor at that point. So this is a really useful feature too, if you don't want to be moving to the very top all the time, because I can, you know, visually see a little bit clearer over here. But there's another area that this kind of falls short as well, which is when you have snapping mode on, that um, it doesn't necessarily always go to where you want it to. I guess you could hold down shift and that would work to temporarily disable snapping, but that's just a lot to think of. So one of the ways that I like to work is there's an option that we have in Studio One, which is allows us to basically just put our mouse at any point on the audio event, and then we can just make the cursor be at that exact position. So in this particular case, if I wanted my cursor to be exactly here, I could just use the shortcut over here, and now I've placed my cursor right at that point. And this is actually, it doesn't pay any attention to snapping mode either. So regardless of what our snapping mode is set to, I can very easily just put my playhead wherever I need it to be. So to be honest here, I can't quite remember whether this is something that I've added myself or whether it's something that came set up in Studio One ahead of time. But if I go over here to my search option and I just type locate, you can see here that I have locate mouse cursor and this is currently mapped out to a command spacebar. Like I said, I can't remember whether Studio One came that way or whether this is something that I mapped out, but either way, I think it's a great feature to use and I actually use it all the time. So when I'm navigating, I'm just dragging my mouse across here and if I wanna play from here, I'll just use my shortcut here and then I can very quickly and very easily play from any point. And then of course, we could use other commands in conjunction with this. So for instance, I could select this event over here, place my cursor right at this point, I could use my shortcut to put my cursor there and then I could simply break that event. So anyways, that's using the locate mouse cursor option within Studio One. I hope you guys got something from this and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.